Next, we're going to hear from uh, Maggie Acera uh, concerning Central Committee and why you should run. My name is Maggie Acera. I am the organizer of San Diego County Tea Party Forum. Some of you may remember it as the San Diego County Tea Party Group. Um, I'm also a central committee member for the 77th Assembly District, Republican Party. I'm here tonight to talk to you about the importance of you running, getting your name on this ballot for what is almost an invisible uh, organization within our political parties. Um, most people, when you talk to them, they don't even know what it is. It's a page on the ballot. What you are is an elected representative of the voters in your party, in your district. They, you go to the central committee meetings every month. You decide who to endorse, who not to endorse, ballot initiatives to endorse, and this is on behalf of your fellow voters in your assembly district. Now this is a great way, most of you are already involved in the issues. You're very aware, you know the candidates, you know the issues, you know the problems, and now you know what is in your, your own backyard, your assembly district is your own backyard. So you want to take that to the voters, talk to them, get them, get them motivated, get them aware, get them involved. This is a great way, it's a great way to help educate the voters in your district. There are some, my, my ballot from 2010, that was the first time I ran, had 11 names on it. There were some districts, they had three. You're supposed to vote for up to six. Each central committee has six members. So three people got in and three seats were left open. That's it, three people. There's supposed to be six people representing the voters, there's only three. Some have four, some have two. My goal was in 2010 was to make sure that at least, almost every assembly district would have at least 10 to 20, 30 people running on the ballot. And that's why I'm here to talk to you tonight. The filing date, or the opening date to pick up your ballots, your ballot forms, is February 13th. That's Monday, February 13th at the Registrar of Voters Office. It's very simple. They're very nice. If you've never run for anything before, this is the one thing you would like to do. This is <coughs> easy. This is, this is, um, I can't, there, there, there's no money involved. It's 30 signatures on a form. Um, you can't, well, you can pay. There is a fee in lieu of signatures, but when, when someone's looking at their ballot and there's seven or eight, nine, 10, 11 names on there, you want them to know who you are. So you, you will want to go out to your district to the registered voters of your party, get 30 signatures, turn it in, and your name is on the ballot. Um, this is a great educational tool for people if they are thinking about running for another office, maybe city council, school board, water districts, assembly. This is a great learning tool. It's a two-year term, and you are inside your party. You get to talk to the people that already hold these positions, um, other people who want to run for these positions. If you are serious about running as a candidate for any of these elected offices, this may be your opportunity to um, get the information that will keep you from making costly mistakes in your campaign. It is a great opportunity for all of those interested in their party and making changes to their party and bringing the, your fellow voters back into the party and increase their awareness. I've been there for two years. Um, the, the, the central committee mem uh, meetings are right before the monthly party meeting. They, that's when we, we take roll call, we endorse, we have discussions, they come and tell us about ballot in initiatives. You will be some of the first people to know about certain ballot initiatives they want your endorsement for. That's, this way you can go out and tell your fellow voters exactly what it's about. Um, because of this education, um, and it, it's been a good one, I've learned a lot, things that I thought I knew were wrong, and then I learned a lot of things I didn't even know existed out there. But because of this, I decided to run for my city, Santee City Council, uh, when the seat opens up for the November election. So this is, if, 
if, if there's anything you ever wanted to run for, any kind of curiosity at all, this is this central committee position is the one you want to you want to get into. And next month, what I'll do is I'll bring copies of the forms. Um, I can show you some more things that I use to get my name out there for name recognition. Um, some things I have printed out and made. So um, once again, the registrar of voters will start handing out the ballot packages on February 13th, and you have until March 9th. I have copies of this on the table back there where the voter registration forms are. And I'll bring some more information next month. Thank you very much.